Welcome to Coding Bat video number two. I'm Nick Parlante, I run Coding Bat, and uh, this is the second in a series of experimental videos where I want to talk a little bit about the basic features of strings and then work some example code. Uh, so here I'm going to scroll through this little uh, document that talks about strings, and this is available on the Coding Bat site if you want to review it later. So in the previous video, I talked about this uh, basic version of substring where you pass in one number. Uh, there's a more complicated version of substring where you pass in two numbers, a start number and an end number. And what it does it, is it picks out a part of the string beginning at the start and running up to but not including the end number. So let me give an example of what that means. Um, so for example here I've got the, uh, the string hello again and there's the index numbers. Um, so here if I call um, str.substring2, what that's going to do is it's going to begin at the 2 and start picking up characters and then stop at the 3. So it stops before whatever that second number is. So in that case, I would just get out the uh, LL. So another example, if I were to call a substring 0, 3, that would start at the 0, 0, 1, 2, and then stop on the 2. So it would stop on before the 3. So in that case, we would get um, HEL. All right, so let me try a, uh, an example here. Um, the missing car problem. So it says, given a non-empty string and an int n, return a new string where the, uh, the car at index n has been removed. So basically, the way I'm going to think about this is that I want to take, there's index n that I want to leave out. So I'm going to take the before part of the string that comes before index n and the after part of the string that comes after and put those together. Um, so I'll call this the, uh, the front. So what's, this, what's the part of the string that comes up to but not including index n? The part to the left of it. So that's going to be str.substring. And then I'm going to start at the left, so that's 0. And I want to go up to but not including n. Now it happens that that matches up with the way substring works because it goes up to but not including whatever number you give it here. So I can just pass in n. That'll give us up to but not including n. Now what's going to be the part of the string to the right of n? So I'll call that the back. So that's going to be str.substring. And then I want the index 1 to the right of n. Well, that's just going to be n plus 1. Um, and in this case, I can use the, uh, the simpler version of substring that whatever number you give it, it just runs through the end of the string because that's, that's what I want here. All right, so then I can just say return front plus back. Hey, that works. Uh, all right. Um, so writing this kind of code, it's pretty easy to get uh, what are called these uh, string index out of bounds or string index out of range errors. And what that means is basically the code has called substring and passed in a number which is probably too big for however big the string is. So for example, I could call uh, substring 0, 4 and then I mean, in principle that works fine, but if the string is maybe length 2, then that's going to crash. You can't refer to an index that's um, outside of the string. Um, so the solution, very roughly speaking, will look kind of like this. If I want to call substring 0, 4, well, I'm probably going to have to have an if statement first that checks, well, is it, is it at least length 4? And then I can have an else clause that you know, does take some other strategy if the string is uh, short. All right, so let's, let's try this. Um, so we'll try the front three problem. Given a string, we'll say that the front is the first three cars of the string. If the string length is less than three, then the front is whatever is there. Okay, so how do I get the, the front? So um, kind of what I want is this. I'll write it away that doesn't quite work. I'll say uh, front is equal to str.substring 0, 3. First three characters. Um, that's the first three characters because it starts at 0. So that's going to get characters 0, 1, and 2. Right, and that goes up to but not including 3. So that's going to be three characters. Um, so I could, this is not... A real solution, but I can sort of say return front. But I just want to show what this does. Um, so you can see for when Java is passed out or chocolate or ABC, it works. It, this at least just grabs the first three characters. But here, where what's passed in is a length two string or a length one string, then we get this exception Java, blah, 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 you know, or some big error message. But basically, what that's saying is out of bounds. Yeah, three is too big. <laughs> um, so I'm going to fix this with uh, an if statement. So I'll say, oh, right, well, if str.length is greater than greater than or equal to three. It's like, well, then I'm permitted to call substring. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'll show the error. This is not going to quite work either, but I'll show the error message. Um, so what it says is uh, the local variable front may not have been initialized. And what it's complaining about is that I declare this variable front, and then under the control of this if statement, I assign it to something. 
But what if this if statement is false? Well, then I didn't assign front to anything, and that's just not allowed in Java. Um, so one solution is I could use the else, where I sort of balance my logic. So the, the if and the else means, well, either you do this or you do that. So that's what I do if the string length is greater than or equal to three. In here is what do I do if the string length is less than three? And what the problem statement says is, oh, we'll just use whatever is there. So in that case, I will just assign front to just the str. Just use the string um, as it is. And then what the problem actually calls for is then return three copies of the front. So I'll do that part too. Front plus front plus front. All right, that works. Um, so I, I think this is a fine solution. Um, and it demonstrates that basic pattern of the, like, yeah, sometimes you have to check before you just start putting numbers into um, substring. I'm going to show another solution. Um, so this is the if else way, um, which is fine, but there's another way of doing it. I'm just going to delete the else there. And instead what I'm going to do is just right here where front is declared, I'm going to say, I'm just going to say, well, front is equal to str. And what I'm sort of doing here is I'm giving, I'm saying, well, by default, front will be str. So it just, at least it has a default value. And then this if statement, well, if the length is greater than the three, then maybe I'll change front to be uh, something bigger. And so that, I'll hit run here, that also works. Um, so that's, that's another way of accomplishing this without using the uh, full if else. Uh, all right, so here's a couple more problems I've listed at the bottom that are kind of similar to this if you want to uh, practice. And uh, other than that, keep on practicing.